If you have not visited Cape Town yet, what are you doing? This beautiful city at the southern tip of Africa has beaches, mountains, architecture, history and money. It is also one of the only African cities to host the FIFA World Cup and it has so many titles like being a global city or a world design capital. Though Cape Town has never tried to separate itself from South Africa, this is Africa Assemble and we like to wonder and ponder. So if this gem of a global city became an independent country, leaving South Africa, how would this shape both countries? That is what we'll discuss today on Africa Assemble. By the way, be a friend and subscribe, click the notification button to never miss our videos and like this video to help us make more content you love about our amazing continent. Let's dive in. If a state decided to leave a country, it has to be a peaceful scenario and eventually the new state would have to be recognized by the UN and other nations. Though these are ideal steps, some countries are still not recognized by other nations like Taiwan not being recognized by China or Kosovo not being recognized by Russia, Argentina, Libya and other nations. In the case of Cape Town, South Africa would first have to accept this before any further steps are taken. And based on the assets that Cape Town bring to South Africa, this would definitely be met with high resistance. The first reason is money. Cape Town is South Africa's second main economic center with its money coming from tourism, real estate, finance, tech and recently the space industry. All this gives Cape Town over $78 billion in GDP and if that is taken out of South Africa's $280 plus billion in GDP, imagine how much of a loss that would be for South Africa and how that money could be spent if Cape Town kept all that money to itself. It is a very beautiful city so a fair amount of tourism would be lost to South Africa. The second reason is the population. With over 4 million people living in Cape Town, South Africa will lose a bit of its population. According to data, Cape Town is a city with the most entrepreneurial minds in South Africa and losing that kind of population could be detrimental to the economic growth of South Africa. Nine tenths of the fish eaten in South Africa comes from Cape Town. This would be something South Africa would not want to lose. Lastly, with the personal income tax rate at 45%, South Africa would stand to lose a lot of tax money from over 4 million people in a thriving economy. Of the two countries, Cape Town would benefit greatly from separating from South Africa if it ever happened. Would it change its name from Cape Town to Cape Country or even just the Cape? On a successful secession from South Africa, Cape Town will initially have to forge a new government structure and laws. It would also have to create its own army, healthcare system and create new trading partners, which the latter would not be difficult since it's a coastal city. Funny enough, it would not be the smallest country in the world as it will rank behind the Vatican and Monaco in being small. Speaking of Monaco, Cape Town would be the Monaco of Africa as it is a popular destination especially after the 2010 World Cup. Cape Town would have to answer some questions though, like would they still use the RAND? Would all its inhabitants choose to stay in Cape Town or migrate to South Africa? Would one need a visa to travel to South Africa and vice versa? Since most people speak Afrikaans in the city, would Afrikaans be the national language? Cape Town would be the country with the most mixed people as over 40% of the 4 million people living in the town are of mixed race. Since Cape Town's land area is restricted, the country may have a problem with population growth in the future, which could create another water crisis. And the one real bad downside is Cape Town is currently one of the most violent cities in the world. And with it becoming a country, it could end up being the most violent country in the world. Like the country of South Africa, Cape Town would also aim to mend its society as they aim to move away from the apartheid history it endured. With all that aside, Cape Town as a country would be awesome. But it will never happen as Cape Town needs South Africa as much as South Africa needs Cape Town. There have never been rumblings of separation and the Western Cape would be really sad if this ever happened. Now we turn the question to you dear watcher. If you are a South African watching this, how would you feel if Cape Town ever left South Africa? Share this with a friend and drop a comment if you disagree or would like to request a video. Till then brothers and sisters, Totsiens.